Huh? Shit, it seem like they they a little worth your time. Shit. What up, what up, what up? What up? <laughs> SL, it's not what you think, bro. We're not, we not smoking. It ain't 420. But I will tell you what we using, bro. Y'all know I like this combo. I wanted to show y'all this new combo. These minis. Minis. What's good, Evan? What's good, everybody? What's the deal? I hope everybody had a good 420. If you don't smoke, I still hope you had a good day yesterday. You feel me? So we using the minis today. These mini smokes. What's good, JP? We're going to get that session later. Because um, after I do this washing style, I'm going to need a brush session. You know what I'm saying? You know, I like my oils after my washing styles. So everybody, I'm going to show y'all what we using. And my comments won't come up. What's good, man? What's good, Black Panther? I am very short. All right, so mini slime and mini smokes. All right, my fluffy puffs got mini um, oils and everything right now. The minis are clutch. They go on my book bag. They go on my gym bag. Um, you know, I could travel with them. What's good, Yan? Hey. So minis, we using this today. As y'all know, I like to use the smoke first because it's clay. Get the dirt and grease. Um, ever since I've been bouncing back, you know, when I start back brushing last week, I've been um, only only wash once a week. I plan on maintaining that until my pattern bounces back. Usually, I use the overwash method to bounce my pattern back, but this time I'm not because my hair was in real bad shape, so... Um, I'm doing old-fashioned brush work, washing once a week. So we're going to clarify with the smoke. We're going to clarify with the smoke, and then after that, we're going to get our brush work in with the wave slime. And then, um, as y'all can see, OVB, Big Shark Compression Cap. And then um, we're going to be using Ocean Views Blue Wash Rag, all right? We're going to use this boy for our washing style, all right? All right, so let's get into this session. Um... For everybody that's late to the show, well, not late to the show, but just, just ain't seen me in a while, man. I caught that blue. Yeah, uh, Dreamer17, my, my link to my Insta is down below. Caught that blue, y'all. So, it took me out for a few weeks. My my hair looked like shit. <laughs> for sure, appreciate that. My hair looked like shit. Now I still look, it look like healthy shit right now, you know, full of forks. So we on the, we on the grind to get back. So let's get to it. We using the uh, tool structure comb. Cause I need this, I need this board to knock these forks out. We're about to lift the hair up. And then we're going to get into the session. And then, you know, I got the burners, you know what I'm saying? So we on, let's get it, everybody. 23 people. One like. I mean, you get them likes up, man. If y'all miss it. What's good, daddy? I'm tired, but I'm feeling healthy. So, I'll take it. You feel me, Ace? They can't hold me down. Not for long, at least. Yeah, I'm drinking burners in the bathroom. Mind your business. All right, let's get it. <laughs> Detangler for the wash brush. Royalty wash brush. Then we're gonna finish the crown work up before we rag up with the other hard brush. So let's get to it. Oh. 
first I'm gonna show y'all first what I'm working with. I'm, about, I'm gonna show y'all forks and all, all right? Cause I wanna be accountable for this brushwork that I'm about to be putting in to get back. You feel me? So, crown. This is a weak bounce back, y'all. If anybody in here that's seen my hair last week would know. This is new. It just, I really don't know. I learned so much. I learned so much from being sick. I learned, like, I gained forks from, of course, not brushing, but I also was barely ragging, too. And it's like, I gained a lot of forks. It's amazing, like, how many forks I gained. The hair health problem only took me a week to bounce back. You see it shining, but I gained forts from like just laying on my hair. So a lot of y'all need to learn out here. Forks, mostly forks is all about brushing wrong angles and not being patient enough to brush the forks out, but also your know, ragging up um, ethic or frequency also plays a part. If you sleeping without a durag and you got a lot of force, that's probably why. All right, so I'm back. All right, so um, when I first started back brushing, my edges was real, real faint. Like, as y'all can see, I had a lot of this shit had sweated out from being sick, just laying on it and sweating. Um, a lot of this shit was just fucked up so now I gotta really like restore my edges and um these I have one big ass fork up here now it's two so I'm pretty much pulling forks at an angle this way to complement my crown so that I won't have no more forks coming out the crown and then my weak side is back my right side is totally garbage back again so i'm gonna be working this whole entire area during the wash and during the next few uh weeks and uh being patient working this, these forks out this top and then we on what's good Speedy, I have before. I will be. Uh, I will be lately with the quarantine going on. I will be cutting my own, but I don't know if I'm gonna fuck with the lining or not yet. I might. It just depends on how froggy I'm feeling. Cause I can line the hair. I just can't taper. So I'm kind of scared to fuck it up. You know. I'm confident with cutting the hair. It's just the tapering part that I feel terrified of. Danny, um, it's true. It just depends on what stage you're in. You know, like I said, after being sick, I'm scared to get sick again. So I don't really want to keep wetting my hair two, three times a week like I normally would. Depends on what stage your hair is in, what you're trying to achieve. By doing the, the multiple washes and the washing styles. Um, if you're wolfing, which I am, and you're just trying to get some fast progress when it comes to, I don't know, whatever you lacking, yes, but washing styles can be addictive. So I would still say old-fashioned brushwork is going to trump uh washing styles any day yep washing less helped me bounce back my hair because you know when your hair is healthy you can do what you pretty pretty much do what you want to it but my hair was so unhealthy dry brittle and just fucked up i had to fall back on washing and just focus on putting a lot of good butters and oils in it and brushing so now my hair is trifling and dirty. I can't really take it no more. Um, um, I need this wash. And I'm going to continue to wash once a week until um, I, I feel like my hair is where I want it to be.
And I usually don't break this this type of calm out until I'm really, really focusing on my connections and trying to break these forks. So, ah. So I'm going to be having a lot of uh, sessions, calming sessions with this fork. <laughs> with this fork. With this comb. For sure, Danny. Until I feel like I can... Uh, break these forks and brush them out the rest of the way as y'all can see I broke my favorite mirror I did uh, find another one it's in my downstairs bathroom so I'm not using it but this is my favorite one so y'all know y'all know it wouldn't be me if I if I wasn't ghetto a little bit, you know, I gotta, it's just, it's just me a little bit. What's good, 38 viewers? Drop the Mario codes. I missed y'all, what's good? Drop the Mario codes, man. Can't see the comments, so, don't know why, but, see? Y'all know I show y'all unedited. My hair straight, dirty, straight, oily, you need to wash. When your hair is oily and dirty like this, you need clay wash. You need to use a clay or a clay wash or a clarifying shampoo or a black soap. That really get it out. And I appreciate that, bro. That trip was memorable on so many levels. I really appreciated that experience. It was dope. I really... Yeah. What's wrong? Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Fuck. You late already? Huh? Are you late already? Damn. Huh? I said, damn. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I got, I'm going to have to miss out. Huh? I'm going to have to fucking miss out. Go to I'm going to have to miss out. I definitely wanted me some Chick-fil-A, though. Damn. I've been dreaming about that shit, too. Just didn't want that drive. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I kind of don't have a choice, though, bro. Damn. <sighs> All right. You want recording? Yep. All right, I'll be back. All right, let me know when you get there. Love you. <laughs> Alright, so the Jeezy trip was dope. Definitely dope. Appreciated that. That shit was live. The The airport trip definitely wasn't uh, one of my favorite parts. Having to be masked up for all of those hours. I had a layover. That shit was garbage. So... I really wish I did not get sick, like, right after that, because that haircut, haircut was, that haircut was, was ridiculous, like, fucking ridiculous. So, all right, so like I said, hair dirty as hell, need this wash. I'm about to wet my hair, warm water. Warm water. What's good, 38 viewers? I missed y'all area codes. Let me see. 919. Shout out Anthony. What's good, man? What's good, man? 919. All right, the 914. Uh, I got you. I got you on that fork question. 313734248. All of them. 810, all that. Let's see, man. What's good, Juan? I'm going to uh, rinse all this oil out, you know. Wet it, rinse it, so I can serve it up. We're going to run with the mini smoke first. Mini smoke. As y'all can see, filled to the brim. 
Let me get the mini smoke. Oh yeah, the city always in here, man. I blonde brush all the time, Jack. What's good, Mo, right? Okay. What's good, Alexander and A31? All right, it's warm now. What can I get those? Get those what? All the mini smokes? The website down below, my fluffy pub. The minis, they really clutch, especially if you don't want to spend a lot and you can you can get um, basically like two for one almost. So we're using the clay first. We're gonna scramble wash. We're about to get. So hold on, I'll be back. About to go rinse. Be right back. Damn, my hair is so dirty, I could barely, I could barely get a suds, bro. That's, that's trifling, bro. Damn. Alright. So, I'm going to get this joint. Alright, I can't even get a suds out this shit. It's that dirty. Y'all saw the comb? It be like that. to the scalp because I could just see right now I could barely get a sud. My hair is just nasty, bro. So we're going to use this to loosen up all this grease and dirt. Loosen it up. Y'all, I'm telling you, my hair was so fucked up. I really debated on scalping. I had really thought about scalping like, fuck it, I'm going to scalp this shit. It's bad. It's a wrap. I might as well just call it a quits on that shit. And then I was like, man, I got me fucked up. I got me fucked up. I'm about to brush this shit back to where it's supposed to be at. It's always fun. For me, at least. When I fall off, to bounce back. It's always fun for me. I don't know why it always has been. Um, you know, my health is off. My health is bad. I struggle with my health so i'm used to to losing and bouncing it bouncing back you know what i'm saying so i just decided to have a little fun with it fuck it we gonna wave with no pressure thanks infinite 
I'll tell you, Willie, hold on. We're going to wait with no pressure. We're going to keep our shit healthy, and, and we're going to learn a lot. That's that's what I'm going to dedicate my channel to for the rest of the year. Um, so we're going to wait with no pressure, man. We're not... And I ain't thinking about your four question. I'm about to answer that right quick. So, uh, Willie, I got sick with the flu, and it really fucked me up. It really hit me hard, bro. Really. It really hit me real hard. Took me out real bad. I lost weight. I couldn't walk hardly. I was real sick. Down bad, and I just didn't brush. Didn't take care of my hair. I was too sick. Um... Uh, I think so, Willie, but uh, I couldn't get a test because I was too sick. I couldn't even really get out to get tested, but I'm pretty sure. Definitely pretty sure. Um, if you're still in here, I forgot who asked the fourth question. I'm going to answer that question right quick. Um, a lot of YouTubers is going to confuse you when it comes to forks because the bottom line is forks is two things. Undeveloped pattern. And brushing angles that don't complement your head or your pattern. I'm going to say it again. Forks is usually undeveloped pattern. And uh, brushing the wrong angles that don't fit your head or your pattern. Thanks, y'all. I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate that. Oh, we about to get us an hour in a day. I, I see it's already 20 minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm going to get this, rinse this first, and there's your trifling dirt grease out. And then we're going to get to the suds. All right. <clears throat> Since the shit on my face, this definitely... You can use it in your face and on your body. This is a head to toe smoke wash, right? Clay wash for hair and skin, so it doesn't hurt to be on your face. Fellas, you can use it in your beard. Devin, you feel me? Hit the like button. I'll be back. Alright, let's get into the real wash. Let's get into the real wash, y'all. <sighs> Alright, so I, I'm going to show y'all the next time you don't really need to use a lot. When it's real dirty, you do. Alright. There we go, see? Do you only use smoke clay wash when wolfing? Gaza men, negative. I use the smoke once a week regardless. <clears throat> I use the smoke once a week regardless. But when I'm wolfing, it's, it's highly effective because you can use it by itself. I've used it by itself to get laid. Like, it will lay your hair because clay... That's what clay does. It strips. It gets your hair down to the nitty gritty. And it helps. I can't explain it, but 
when I wash in style with the clay wash, it lays my hair like silky, like kit lay. Um, do I use soap bars? Yes, I I love her of uh, my fluffy puff soap bars, but um, my favorite one is the lavish bar, and the lavish bar been been out of stock for a hot minute. They will come back uh, later in the year though. Um, I use the citrus bar too, but I like to use that bar in the summer when it's hot and I need a light shampoo bar. I like that citrus. It shines real well. But since since the wave slime came out, I really been like addicted to to that wave slime because you don't need no conditioner. You do not need a conditioner after using that. If any OGs on my channel know I used to preach use conditioner. I even have my own method where I could use conditioner during a washing style. Um, but when the wave slime came out, it's so heavy in oils, it, it, you don't need shampoo. I mean, <laughs> you don't need conditioner, bro. All right, so let's get to the word. So I like to use the detangler first because when you scramble washing, you pretty much... um. Disrupt in your pattern and you turn your waves into curls pretty much. So with this you can detangle your waves without stressing it out with a hard brush or whatever the fuck. And um you can pretty much teach your pattern how to lay down. And I like this because it, it widens your pattern. I've been using it long enough to pretty much be confident with that suggestion or um, statement. It really does stretch your pattern because the detangling really stretches the curls, works the forks, stretches the forks out, you know. And this boy can handle a little wolf, so I really, I really like to use this first. It gets down to the scalp and massages the scalp. It gets to, you know, lifts the dirt off the scalp without hurting. So it's a really good underrated tool. Um, it took me a while to want one of these because I, I used to have a little cheap circle one where you could just do like that. And I thought that's all you needed, but this boy, so much cover, so much pull. It's killing that one. Underrated tool, like I said, I like to get the most of my brush session in with this um, because it's gentle on the scalp. It's no secret I got thin spots, so I like to do use something that's not gonna tear my hair up and my scalp up. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot to do, y'all. Sometimes I be feeling overwhelmed because I know y'all be needing new content. Um, I changed up my angles too. I said when I come back brushing, I might as well get my angles tightened up a little bit tighter. Um, so I need to do a updated, ah, what the fuck? A piece of wood in my foot. Really, bro? What the fuck? Anyway. Oh, uh, y'all can find this shower brush down below on Amazon. My my personal Amazon shop link is below where I put a lot of products that I know waivers like. So my Amazon shop link below. You go in there and you search through the different lists. I got cheap brushes. I got do rags. I got the detangler brushes. It's a two pack. I think on there for the lows. That I just recently edited and put on there. But yeah, I got a new angles vid coming out, man. It's just a lot of work I got to catch up on. I changed up angles over here. AJ, if you're still in here, I hope you're still in here to pay attention. Because I changed up angles. Because I'm really trying to eliminate this fork that I keep recreating over the years. Um, but... Yeah, this is dope. This is an underrated tool. It's cheap. You will find them between eight and eleven bucks. So 
So this is the first wash. With the clay, you really want to make sure your hair is clean. What's good, 37 viewers? I missed y'all. Yeah, man, that's my boo. That mirror, my boo, bro. I couldn't part ways with it. I got a whole brand new mirror downstairs that I have not used yet. <laughs> because first I had that big paddle Diane mirror. And that broke when I first moved into the new house. Then I've been using this one all these years. And it seemed like when I got sick, the bad shit just started happening. And that's when my mirror broke, bro. So. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to make sure the hair is really, really, really clean with the clay wash. And after you feel like it's real clean, you know what I'm saying? That's when you move on to the slime. You move on to the slime. So we're going to wash this out. Wash it out. We're going to rinse this out. 36 viewers. I missed y'all, man. I, I thought about going live tomorrow with y'all, but you know, I don't like to embarrass myself when I'm high, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all would have loved that comedy, but I ain't I ain't wanna do that to y'all. So but uh we're gonna rinse this out. Now my tips gonna start rolling through for people that's not really um used to my channel, the new subs. Drop a comment below if you are new, if you are new sub, 2020 sub. And let me know if you're an old sub. All right, AJ. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show you the angle before I wash this out. I'm going to show you the, the angle change that I made. <laughs> I only made this angle change on my side and my top, um, which I will include in a new video. But I'm about to show you right quick. Drop in the comments if you're new or old sub. Um, new will be 2020. 2020. Uh, Subscriber and all oh, gonna be 2020 and back behind 20, you know 19 and back. Uh oh David. Oh it's the perfect time to learn from me because uh my hair about to get real disrespectful. This wolf about to get real disrespectful. And I love to be able to tame those boys. What's good, new stuff? What's good? Welcome everybody to the channel. I'm crazy. I'm short. I'm retarded. I don't got no sense. I'm going to cuss a lot, and y'all going to learn a whole lot. That's pretty much it. All right, so, AJ, this is my new, this my new, new angle. All right, so, with this offset, with the offset pattern, this long side, I'm going to show you the hardest three angles to hit with an offset pattern. This line, this line, and this line. These three angles is the hardest to hit consistently from the crown. And what I'm notorious for doing, y'all see it? I, I always create this fork here that moves down this fucking side. What's well, over here now because I've been pulling it. This, I uh, create the fork here and it travels, travels and travels. So the new, the new angle is pulling in the middle from the crown, All right? Pulling from the middle down and taking this junction where the fork creates itself at and pulling it forward. So, again, down from here, down from here, then I take the fork junction and pull it forward. Pull it forward. Pull it forward. I'm going to keep doing it once I, once I get ready to set my washing style. All right, so we, I'm going to show y'all when I'm ready to set the washing style. Dropping jewels, that's what I do, you feel know I me? Mean? Let me sip on my, on my, um, let me, let me sip on my medicine. Sip on my medicine. 
We're about to rinse this out and we're going to get to the wash and style portion. Um, we're going to be using the mini style. Now, in this portion, I like to rinse with cool water. If you can handle cold, do it. But I'm scared of cold water because I'm just, I'm just petrified of being sick. So, I'm not going to use no cold water right now. I'm just going to use cool water. That's to, that's to calm the hair down. To get the hair ready to start training it to lay down. You know what I'm saying? So, set you up for that steroid shine, all right? using the tangle teaser <clears throat> I usually use microfiber what's good 42 viewers shit what's good with y'all <clears throat> I usually use microfiber towels but I don't have none clean so we're using the, the regular towel oh yeah I still use Torino Pro brushes man I, I got a few of those joints for my birthday uh, a couple people showed me some love for my birthday. It was April 17th. A um, few people dropped me some brushes off the new drop, and I really appreciated them. They dope. Um, all right, so I got a spray bottle I'm about to use because these tiles really suck all the moisture out your hair. Usually the microfibers, they leave a little enough healthy moisture in your hair where I need to put the, um, the shampoo in it, but... I'm going to use a spray bottle to put a little bit more water into my hair. All right, wave slime. You feel me? All right. Um, moisturizing shampoo foam. Babusu oil, sunflower, and yojoba. The green dots y'all seeing, if y'all not hip, appreciate you, PC, is yojoba oil. That stuff is going to go in your hair and dissolve. That's where that super shine comes from, um, as you can see. There's not a better smelling um, shampoo foam or shampoo period that's designed for washing style out here. I drastically dare you to um, find one because I just highly doubt it. All right, so let's get it. Let me return this text right quick. All right. Wave slime time. So with this, of course, you don't need a lot either. Damn, my shit was about a vent. So it's real, it's melted a little bit, but that's cool. All right. You usually don't need a lot of slime at all. A lot, a lot of people ran through their wave slime, bro, when they first got it because they, when it first came out, they didn't know how to use it. As you can see, this shit so creamy and fluffy, bro. You know Davion, you know me, bro. I always keep it 100, no matter what. Fluffy, creamy, I'm going to add some more water to it to make it uh, suds up some more, too. But um, this is where the brush work come in at. I, you know what, man? I want to vent. Fuck it, y'all hear? I miss y'all. I'm gonna talk y'all asses to death. A lot of people ask me, how can I make progress? I'm not making no progress. And the first thing I do, hold on, man. I'm feeling a little slow. Y'all know me. I'm. 
<laughs> Y'all know me. If it wasn't me doing some slow shit, it wouldn't be me, you feel me? Ooh. This type of shit you do in the quarantine, feel me? I'm just stunned on y'all to show y'all this. Soap is just so natural that it just don't hurt your skin at all on no levels. You feel me? <laughs> Chin strap on y'all ass. All right, so. Um, a lot of people, I try to, I try to give tips on how to get healthy here. The easy way. I know everybody washed their hair at some point. So the first tips I give people, you laughing? That shit look funny to you? The first tips I give to people is let's get you some healthy hair and some progress on wash day. Wash day is easy because your hair moves extremely easy. Shut back, girl. <laughs> your hair moves extremely easy. And if you're using the right stuff, your hair will be extra healthy. Will become extra healthy, rather. So, brush sessions while you're using your shampoo are essential. Yes. God's a man, yes. I used to smoke first to get all the nasty dirt bullshit out of my hair. It also clarifies your hair, helps it shine. Gets all that build up out your hair. And then um, I use the slime because it's a moisturizing shampoo. And you don't need conditioner afterwards. So it's the perfect complement to each other. Purify the hair, get the bullshit out. It's going to already leave your hair shiny without the slime. But the slime is the moisturizing step, basically. All right, so I tell everybody wash day because everybody wash. And the hair is easiest to manipulate then. So. Um, plus, a lot of things you could teach, teach yourself while your hair is wet. You might see an angle that you're brushing. Your hair, your angles do fall in line right in front of you with the lines in the shampoo. You know, um, it's the easy way to teach yourself your angles. Or even if you don't know where your crown at, that's the easy way to find it. It's why your hair is wet. Why well, the shampoo, good shampoo. I already know somebody out there gonna fucking screenshot my mustache and let me find out. That's all I'm saying, bro. Let me fucking find out that this shit made it past this live. I'm pulling up facts. Hard shower brush, yes it is. A lot of people don't or can't use. Look at that. Y'all cry about lather and that shit is just immaculate. Thank you, Juan. I use hard brushes uh, when I wash. I always have for the past umpteen years. And that's why my depth is the way it is. I have ultimate depth. <laughs> I can get a fucking one probably and still have deep waves. But a lot of people's scalps can't not handle a hard brush, let alone being, a, um, being wet. So if you're one of those people and you are soft, it's like, no, I ain't going to call you soft. But if you just can't handle the hard brush, you can use a medium. But if you wolfing and you still use a medium in a wash and style, your hair might not come out the way you want it. It might be some curly spots left. I'm not going to cap to you. That's a lot of people's problems. It's a lot of people's problems. They use a brush that's too soft, trying to wash and style with it, and their hair be left fucking curly and unlaid. That's the most devastating thing that can happen to a waver when you wash and style and it don't come out good at all. So I took all the I took the foam out the brush and I um 
put it back into my hair because I'm about to wet it some more. Cause this heat is on in my in my bathroom and I don't want my shampoo to dry out because I'm really working hard. Most of my brush, my wash sessions do not last past 30, maybe 40 minutes. But since since I'm brushing for progress, um, I really want to take some good time into uh, getting my pattern taken care of. See it, AJ? You see it? Go down from here. So in between that intercept where I create the fork, I'm going to use the, the tip of the brush and pull that straight. Um, we're going to say to, to the corner. We're going to pull it to this corner. That's basically the goal, to pull that, that intercept to the corner. So if you can master that when you first lock, start locking in your pattern, that will, that will save you a few forks. All right, let's get it. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up for a minute and get this brushwork in. Um, if I catch a question on the screen, I'll answer it. But of course, I can't. I can't press this phone screen with this with a wet hand. Infinite brusher, good looking out. Respect in return. Damn, y'all come on this live now. I'm feeling sick. <laughs> Willie P. Is it from the mustache? The goatee? Feeling sick from that goatee? Oh, you might be CC. I'll take it. <laughs> As y'all can see, when I'm feeling good, I'm retarded. That's why I don't like to come on this motherfucker if I ain't feeling good. Because y'all know me. My regular subs know me. I'm goddamn slow. I'm retarded, man. <laughs> Anything y'all see I'm using today, man. Brushes or or the uh, wave slime or the smoke. I've left a link, in, link below for it. Um, new subs. Every time I do a wash day or a brush session that's live, I always post the results on Instagram. So, um, for everybody that wants to see the results of this wash and style, it will be posted on Instagram. I'm also going to unveil some more Ocean Views heat. Y'all know I'm Ocean Views Beauty Ambassador. So, I received a lot of packs while I was sick. Durag fire that I'm trying to show y'all. Smoke wash once a week. Whether I'm wolfing or not, I use it once a week. Um, the smoke wash can be used by itself, too. What's good, Arlo? Big ass WTBD. We got WTBD Arlo in the building. We got WTBD AJ in the building. Big fucking WTBD in the building. What's good, Arlo? I'm feeling good. I'm in here cutting up. Cutting the fuck up. You see it? I've been, I've been on this boy almost an hour. We locking it in. We here. All right, y'all. So, I done got motivated. I'm going to brush a little longer since my more of my gang in the building. We're going to play in a crown with this hard brush right here. Yeah, Rosie. Come on, man. How do you wash them <laughs> like I'm doing right now, fam? I definitely copped a boatload from Ocean Views. Yes, sir. New to the live. I dare you to say something about my mustache. I fucking dare you. I'm also working on this side of my crown too over here I did notice that I could afford to come up higher off of it so that's what I've been working on in sessions I can't wait till later I'm gonna brush with y'all again guaranteed 
because I want y'all to know what I do after a washing style. So I've been getting a lot of old school brush work in. Hard, medium, soft sessions, plastic bagging, um, getting back to the money. So this is the styling portion, y'all, of the washing style. This is where I'm going to start perfecting everything, making sure it's laid correctly, making sure the angles is correct. Gym alert, about to drop, about to drop a gym. So after I set my crown all the way around, I'm gonna basically set a perimeter to fucking lock the crown in and then I'm gonna lock in the rest with a separate brush. I'll show y'all what I mean. So right now, I like how that look. You feel me? I like how that look. It look, it look good. All right. Then I'm gonna take this brush and not touch the crown. I'm gonna lock everything else back in. You see what I'm saying? I'm doing that because that palm brush is more accurate at the crown um, than this flat brush is. So I'm laying it all out. Then I'm going to smooth it. Feel me? You see what I'm saying? Make sure your edges lay all the way around. It's real brush work. A lot of folks be lazy um, and Say that's too much work and, I mean, to each his own and that's why most cats hair be looking the way it do. You feel me? So this is the smoothing part. I'm going to show y'all a new way I've been, I start smoothing my crown as well. When you're trying to develop an airtight pee hole crown, you really got to pay attention to all aspects. Of this shit. If you like the mustache, Arlo, ooh, Arlo dropped me the fire for the mustache, bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so with your finger, with your finger, with your finger, you basically acting like you're brushing a crown. Damn, creamy. Act like you brushing a crown. You know, the same angles. You want that crown to be flat by the time you put a do-rag on it. I'm double compressing today when I rinse. Because I want this shit lay lay. I've used the plastic bag before in the washing style. But I don't have the patience for it today. And I think I laid it pretty good with my hands. Creamy. <laughs> All right, so um, like I said, I'm using Ocean Views wash rag, the Crip Blue one. Sorry, any bloods in the building? Crip Blue. <laughs> All right, and I'm using a stocking cap double compress. <laughs> so let's get to it. We're gonna rag this up. I'm low key gonna um I'm low key going to blow dry my hair once I rinse it after it's settled for a while. I'm gonna blow dry it because I really wanna jump into another session so bad. Like I'm real I'm real hungry for my progress to start picking back up so 
I really don't want to wait that hour and a half, two hours like I, I usually do after a wash. So you want to make sure everything lined up, man. Facts. I'm going to make sure everything lined up before you wrap it up. Oh, shit. My bad. I be tripping. Damn, y'all be straight tripping. The urges come over me to do dumb shit. For sure. Damn. I can't go live with y'all on a brush session. I, I did make an appointment. You feel me? Yeah, bruh. Yeah, Davion. It's good to be back, man. Sometimes I be wondering, like, damn, I wonder if niggas tired of tips, like. But I realize that it's people that's that still don't know a few things out here, man. And some people in different stages. And I realize a lot of these YouTube niggas be really confusing, bro. So I just come on here and do me, bro. That's pretty much it. Y'all know I love y'all. All right, so that was it. Everybody that's late to this to the session, we used uh, mini mini smoke, mini smoke, and then um, we finished off a of wave slime, wave slime, and we uh, used these two for the most of the brush work, and then we used this one for the crown work. Spray bottle. OVB perforated mesh wash rag. Alright. So I gotta rinse off my mirror. It's full of shampoo. Full of shampoo. Alright. Rinse out my brushes. Oh, y'all, I finally got uh, channel memberships. I'm going to be able to put the link on uh, later on when I log on to a computer. Finally got channel memberships, so that was clutch. So, last gym going to be, I like to rinse my washing styles with cold water, but like I said, I'm a little shook these days and I don't want to use cold water because I don't want to get sick <laughs> again so I'm gonna rinse with cool water cool water and then I'm gonna blow dry this motherfucker I'm gonna blow, blow dry this motherfucker y'all Any last questions before I dip off of this thing? 43 viewers. Um, I appreciate you motherfuckers. I fucks with y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> Any more? Um, oh, we made it to an hour. Any more last questions before I dip? You know, I got to wash off this creamy. You feel me? <laughs> Love brush session. Love? Oh, live. <laughs> Facts. OJP a brush session. I think I'm gonna do y'all a brush session. Um, a what to do or what I do after a washing style brush session. Because when I'm maintaining, I do it a different way, and when I'm trying to progress, I do it a different way. When I'm trying to progress, I unwrap washing style. I comb it out. A hard, medium, soft plastic bag. Rag it up. Use an oil or butter. But when I'm trying to maintain, I unrag, hit it with oil or butter and a soft and rag it back up. So, so, so. I'm going to show y'all. I got y'all. But, yeah. So, about to rinse this out. Damn, that's horrible. I'm going to rinse this out. Cool water. Feel me? Then, I'm going to blow dry the fuck out of this shit. Feel me? Okay. You feel me? And then hopefully we'll be live again in a probably uh, about an hour. I did tell niggas I was jumping on GTA, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm a brush. <laughs> oh, go try. All right. Really? Good looking. I'm going to check them out. I don't know why they're not working. 
Um, I got to check the links out. I might have distorted the link while I was copying and pasting. So, um, either way, um, the detangler can be found on Amazon. Even if it's just regular Amazon. It don't have to be my shop. Of course, I get a little percentage of, of um, purchases, but it's not that deep. You could just go on regular Amazon and find it. And then you would just either download the Ocean Views uh, app. Or you can go on oceanviews.com. Um, and my discount code is DRealRG3. It's going to give you a discount. 703. Shout out to 703, man. You already know. Alright, so I'm going to rinse all this shit off. Got me looking trifling. It was fun at first, but now I feel trifling. So I'm going to rinse this off. Cool water. Blow dry this shit. And um, see y'all later. Miss y'all. Dope live. I appreciate y'all coming in this thing. Uh, it's your girl RG3 and I'm live from the 3 on 3 in the bathroom. Uh, wave slime, wave smoke. <laughs> Big WTBD. I'm out.